As many of you know, we experienced a rash of tornadoes uh, that gripped us. On the morning of the 27th, I remember uh, the, the tornadoes began. And with each alarm that we would hear sounding around the community through sirens and horns that are all around this community, we would have to tell our young ladies in Carter Hall, we had about 250 of them, to locate themselves on the first floor of the building. So we had four floors of individuals all rushing down to the first floor of the building, which was our safety zone. This took place for several hours. Every few minutes we would have the all clear and we'd return back to our rooms and back to our various occupations, only to hear the sirens start blaring again and all of the young ladies would have to go back down uh, to the first floor again. That night, I must say, I felt vulnerable. Uh, as the dean of the residence hall, the residential coordinator, if you will, it is very difficult to keep people calm in a setting where there's bedlam because no one knows where to go, no one knows what to do. And although we had had many, many fire drills and we had had practice and rehearsal for this type of event, there's nothing like the actual thing. Imagine, if you will, four floors in pitch darkness with students who don't have flashlights because the flashlights they had and the batteries they had have now run dead. We had to rely on the grace of God 